All right, hey everybody, time for another vlog. Okay, so I'm gonna probably have to make sure that I keep things, you know, within a realistic uh, time frame tonight because uh, I do have to go to the airport and pick up Zombie very soon. However, with that said, uh, there is some stuff to kind of rant about a little bit, or at least talk about in general and everything like that. Uh, the project, uh, you know, the, the level editor for Revulsion is coming along. Still more progress. Uh, good stuff. Uh, not much else to say other than here's a uh, security zombie that you can fight over here. And he's facing this direction. And then you see this. I can I can give him a target name and a target and he you know I could set whether or not he's a sniper ambush alert like all the different things that you know uh, the regular spawn uh, system w would allow for uh, is all is all here is all here all right and it's in multiplayer too so let's say if I make this blah 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 like let's make him an ambush now well ambush and sniper are kind of pointless because they both kind of do the same thing but uh see well not necessarily because ambush will get angry if they see you but they they don't they don't react to the sound of you pulling you know your the trigger on your gun however let's see target name let's see uh let's call him uh vlog man running down all right so he's the target name there and like we would set him to be uh disabled he only shows up on the uh, high, you know, the uh, difficulty three, you know, I guess that would be like what ultra violence or hurt me plenty, and uh, level variance. Let's say he's going to be three levels higher than the player, uh, you know, whatever the current level uh, threshold currently is right now, and he only spawns when I want him to. See that? See that? See that right there? And then, okay, so like if I look away, same thing, right? So. I go here now right now I'm in spectator mode right and like you know there's a bug where um, it doesn't uh, grab there's like lots of little bugs uh, that I have to squash but it, it turns out that I don't have permission to use the editor so I have to go in you know as the server only the server has permission to uh, sign uh, the ability for people to you know be able to edit the map and stuff like that so you can have people you know checking out the level and you know not actually have the ability to edit it unless you really want them to so now that I have the edit support editor support I can run over and you'll notice that uh, I switch into this mode and look vlog man level variance 3 difficulty 3 don't spawn if below see like all this stuff is already there and like it's starting it's coming along like I feel like I feel like I'm just you know, kind of plodding along at a sort of a, a reasonable pace, but uh, I'm feeling pretty good, like, about all that. Now, I don't know how uh, else to, you know, like, uh, promote things once I start getting this a little bit further, because, like, if once once the spawn points are in place and then I, I add in the ability to do lighting, uh, interactives... Um, ambient sound triggers and stuff like that once I get that stuff in place then I'm not even really sure like how I'm gonna promote things more um, but I, I will say though that once I have a pre preliminary version of the editor uh, in place I'm gonna uh, do a sale and I, I you know what I've been thinking about it and I think that uh, lowering the price for the game to ten dollars kind of makes sense because it's it gives me a significant edge over competition um, I'm looking at games that don't have nearly the same amount of functionality and stuff like that like and um, if I can if I can beat them on price maybe that'll make up for the fact that nobody knows what this game is or you know what I mean like maybe um, maybe from somehow that'll give me like an edge where I can maybe somehow get get my shit together and like start selling more because I would rather sell more copies at a cheaper price than you know sell f uh, fewer at a higher price I I think that would make the most sense I don't know um, 
So I'm still very much just thinking about stuff out loud and everything like that. And I know that I could probably be talking about other things right now. But really, I mean, this is all that's on my mind at the moment other than uh, finally getting a chance to see Zombie again. Because it's been, it, you know, it's been all month. It has been quite the time. Uh, yeah, I don't know. So uh, I'm looking forward to that and everything like that. And... Um, yeah, there's a lot to be said, I guess, about making sure that I get at least one vlog out every day. And actually, I'm kind of surprised that I'm managing to be consistent, you know, consistent about this. Like, this is probably better for me than any of the other stuff that I've been doing with the live streaming and all that stuff. I mean, in the case of live streaming, though, like, I'm always doing that stuff anyway. Like, the stuff that I'm live streaming is the stuff that I'm usually just working on. You know, if I'm just working on something and I live stream it, it's like that's I would have been doing that anyway. You know what I mean? So I don't know. It, it does kind of make things more intense, though. Like if I get stuck on something, um, the live stream kind of ends up being kind of pointless because it's like not fun anymore because there's not as much stuff happening, you know. Well, I don't know. I think actually when I I, I mean, the more I think about it, like. I've had BZ Plasma actually mention it, and and General Vivi, uh, the the dev on um, Proteus, both tell me that you know uh, if Revulsion was cheaper, it would probably be doing better. So I'm not really sure. Like, when should I lower the price? Like, I should probably do it all at once, right? Like, do like a sale where I lower the price and uh, and you know, have the level editor and everything like that. The thing is, though, is that the first release of the level editor, when it's in its fully functional state, um, it'll be like this, where you can only build um, prototype maps, where the art won't be in place yet. And, and then I'll be focusing entirely on making everything look as pretty as possible, giving, like, art assets for at least one environment and all that, right? But I need to get I need to get the, the editor in a functional enough state where I have all of the you know the building pieces that I need and everything's in a you know able to build really fun uh, uh, prototype levels and then from there I'll be able to uh, I'll be able to you know move into making stuff that looks actually pretty that actually has art and stuff like that so here's the thing about that though um, since revulsion isn't in early access anymore but the level editor itself is in early access that kind of makes things a little weird right like maybe I should have just left revulsion in early access like everybody else does with their games for an eternity because fuck it why not but it's not the mindset that I want to I want like I, I I took it out of early access because let's be honest you know I, I don't I just don't buy into the bullshit of leaving a game in early access for an eternity just because like it doesn't I don't know. I, I just I always just thought it was bullshit. But maybe in this particular case, if I'm going to be continuing to add stuff like this, then maybe I, I don't know if it matters anymore. I think maybe this the the whole uh, the language behind all of it is just stupid at this point. None of it makes any sense. Like, what does early access even mean anymore? I mean, Warframe's been out for what five years or something like that, and it's fucking it's still a beta. Like, it's a beta, guys. There's there. They'll finish it one day, I promise. Uh, you know, I don't know. I don't know. To me, like, I, I just don't like the bullshit. I want to get away from the bullshit part, and just. But um, I don't know. I, 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 you guys think that it might get into trouble, like, if, if people see, if people see, like, the level editor is in early access, which is. Like, Revulsion 2 is essentially in early access. Or something. Right? I don't even know. Like, how... <laughs> I don't want... I don't want Re Re Revulsion 2 to be in early access. <laughs> what the fuck am I going to do? <laughs> um, I have a weird situation where the level editor is actually the sequel to my game. Um... Yeah, guys, I don't know what to do. I don't know what's fair. I don't know. I will say, though, that, like, I, I don't know. 
as as much as it seems like maybe you know revulsion's been uh, kind of a flop or something like that. I don't really think that's actually true. It's it, it is still selling. It still does reasonably well like for a game that has like no marketing and everything like that, right? Like it's still pulling in something. It's 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 not like it doesn't exist and and get this at the same time, people aren't really pissed at me. You know what I mean? Like if you look at the things, the reviews, there's there's no there's no like crazy snafus where you know I I said or did something that was super dumb and you know outside of like the maybe the um one time when I uh released the uh uh random world generator system that that got kind of a bad reaction because it was like well you know I preferred the handcrafted maps and everything like that but I listened to that feedback though uh there just wasn't much that I can do because I was already so far into that like. It had somebody came out and immediately told me, "No, you shouldn't do that." Like, I would have listened. I would have. I would have listened at that, and and not did that. In fact, I, I honestly, I should have probably just started working on a level editor sooner than later. Like, as soon as that I knew that it was even remotely possible, I should have been uh, doing something like this from the get-go. I should have never stopped. I, ne I should have never took a break I should have never stopped at all like I didn't think about it I didn't realize that like um I could be producing this kind of I could be producing this kind of stuff and 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 just keeping it going you know and and, and studying the replication and and getting everything to be in, in a in a great state um yeah I don't know so it's a <sighs> I want to I just I want to get cool stuff. I want to I want to I want something that's actually uh, at least, you know, semi popular that people will know about and uh people will enjoy. I don't know. Uh well, the editor is coming along and it is fun to use. It is actually really fun to use and it's not going to just be a, a crap editor. I I think I've said all this already though. Um I don't know. Is there anything else other than this to really go over? Um, I don't know. Uh, if I can get my hands on a little bit extra funding, um, I might uh, do some live streams playing, uh, playing just playing like games. I could probably do like a Dark Souls playthrough, Dark Souls three playthrough, um, live stream. That could be fun. I don't know, like. The thing is, though, is I don't know if uh, if that's what people actually want to see. Like, I mean, I could I could do you know watching dancing cat girls in VR chat until I'm blue in the face. In fact, I um I may actually stop paying for my uh, my uh, um, IPFS node and just begin using YouTube uh, to host my my uh, videos and stuff like that. And uh, just host, you know, and using that to, to post, you know, back on that. So you'll see probably some of my VR, ch my VR chat content uh, and stuff. But I'm not really sure what people are going to latch onto or what people really want to see. Like, I don't know. I, I have a feeling, though, that what ultimately will be the best thing is once the editor is far enough along uh, that people can actually kind of, you know, people will be able to watch me building maps and time lapse and stuff like that. I think some time lapse videos would be awesome. Where you know, you see me like talking about what it is that I'm building and and maybe and and then also having the extra human interaction where people can jump in on the level editor and uh you know, we can actually build stuff together kind of a thing. Like that could be really that could really be really fun to watch, I imagine. I don't know. Um but I guess uh, most of the most of the problems with me doing videos or alternate forms of uh, video content is that uh, the game development side of things takes so much of my effort that I can't really focus time on making you know and editing the videos and making them higher quality you know adding you know sounds and cuts and all that effort um, uh, without cutting into how much time I could be developing game stuff. So I don't know. I don't know. Um, It's kind of crazy, and everything is kind of coming together at the same time, but at the same time, I'm feeling like I just, I need to get, I need to get things just a little bit further along, 
and then it's like you know it'll be time to just go kind of whole hog on this you know and like start sh showing it off and letting people see videos of it and discussing it and and stuff like that right um how can i release the level editor on steam can i just release it as a tool or should i just release it should i release it as a uh, a, a separate project you know what i mean huh i guess maybe release it as a tool but if i do that well, I don't know. If I release it as a tool first, then I can release it as the game once I start adding the actual game content. And then, you know, sell that. I think. Hmm. Alright. Well, it's going to be fun to see Zombie again at the uh, airport and everything. And, uh... Yeah, there's pretty much that. I think I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to end the video. I think I pretty much uh, mind-dumped everything that I was thinking about just now. Um, and uh, I, I really, really, really want to get, just get this far enough along. And then after that, I'll be able to relax, finish my Doom 2 level. I'll be able to uh, actually have a serious discussion on, on, like, how, you know, should I, should I be uh, releasing... Should I be releasing this as a, as an S, like an SDK for revulsion, kind of a thing, uh, for now, and then like change it up when uh, revulsion two goes into production, which will be based on top of all of this functionality. So if I get this to work, then revulsion two will uh, will be just built on top of this. Essentially, I mean I'm all, I'm kind of playing it right now. Look, I just switched into my combat soldier mode. Look, I can even crouch. I have, like, some movement. You know? Uh, I have all my different gun categories. So, sniper and rifle. Rifle, uh, sniper is for, like, uh, sniper rifles and, and rifle is just, like, for, like, uh, you know, assault rifles and stuff. There are actually two different categories. So, there's, there's a total of eight different possible categories for weapons. Um... And it'll one thing that'll be kind of neat is if like you can choose, like which category is more powerful, like for your current playthrough. Like maybe the different classes can have like you know plus ten percent more damage with heavy weapons and stuff like that. So it like kind of encourages you to focus more on your heavy weapons if you're playing as an enforcer, or you know what I mean, like stuff like that where um, it it, it changes the percentages. So you could still use the same gear. You can still hold the same weapons, but um, some some classes just have an inherent uh, advantage when it comes to um, certain guns, you know, gun categories. Like you might have a scientist, you know, who who um, is most powerful with advanced weapons, but um, you know, advanced weapons and pistols or something are like the scientist's best two weapon categories. But you still have all the other categories. It's just that you know, these ones are the ones you know are the the bread and butter ones for that particular class, and like you can have a sniper. Uh, class or something like that and like he's really good with uh, uh, sniper and utility weapons you know what I mean like those are the two uh, categories that like have like you know an extra damage boost just default at all times or maybe like there's more am more you have more ammo for those categories or you know stuff like that like I don't know like uh, you know um, like different different classes can have like um, uh, passive uh, stat bonuses for each of the weapon categories you know maybe medics can like automatically if you have a medic you know y your healing is is improved and is auto always shared within a small radius around all people you know near you and stuff like that you know like that'd be fucking awesome it'd be so cool ah. but it's all possible it's it, it can you know, I already know how how to get all that stuff working it's mostly just the level editor and getting the multiplayer uh, basic stuff in place so that the game is functional. And then I make sure that I clear out all the bugs so that editor mode and everything like that is functional. And then you'll have you'll end up with like um, right out of the front, you know, right out of the gates, like the ability to to uh, build your own maps and multiplayer 
Um, the ability to, like, deathmatch. I don't know. I don't know. Oh, God, here I am again, just going about that. I guess, you know what? That's one of the side effects of me playing the game. I should probably, <sighs> I, you know, not do these videos while I'm, while I'm in the editor so that I can actually kind of branch out and just sort of talk about other things as well. I don't know. Uh, all right, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to end this video now. It's time to end it. All right, take it easy, guys.